Welcome back to episode four of Mystery Mayhem. This is the series where Alex and I take these random like power cubes and whatnot, we enhance our decks, and we try to find out who can play better with a bunch of random bad cards. But before we get into it, I wanna thank all of you guys for helping us almost reach 600,000 subscribers. You guys are wonderful. Keep up the work and we will keep it up ourselves. I'm looking forward to doing this all over again. As Alec mentioned, we have power cubes for today's video, which are Thank a lot God. more cards than we had last time. And I'm gonna need it because I've lost twice in a row now and I'm not trying to keep that going. Awesome, cool, yeah, these were 20 bucks. These are the last things we got were only like 4 I can believe you. <laughs> yeah, these are I think like 15 or 16 maybe. Like, no, like, are they, is it is it worth that much more? Uh, well, there's two inside? booster packs inside, five bonus packs, and together that means five rare cards and 35 comic cards as well. So, yeah. The, uh, well, the two booster packs and the five bonus packs are separate, oh, separate. from yeah, the yeah. 40 cards here. And there's a randomly inserted chase card. Yeah, you can get a Blackwing Armor Master or a Stratos. Or a Needleworm. Or, or a Needleworm, <laughs> yeah. Has anyone ever actually gotten one of those? A Needleworm? I'm sure someone's got one. I mean, any of the chase cards. I don't know, we don't know, really know what the chase cards are. All right, guys, let's get to the opening. All right, guys, time to bust open this power cube and upgrade my deck with hopefully decent cards. Let's see, oh my gosh. Okay, they really packed these packs in here this time. So my packs this time are, this is Legendary Duelist uh, Synchro Storm, the wind set. Legendary Duelist Magical Heroes, two light packs. Uh, Tactical Masters, that's cool because I do have Valence and Runix cards. And Dawn of Majesty, an Italian star pack as we're used to seeing. Another Italian star pack. So I'm looking forward to looking at all those cards. And we'll start off with the with the super rare. Fusion Gates. So that means I can fuse without polymerization. Will it come up? No idea. Miracle Fertilizer, plant support card. Reverse Jar. Uh, oh wow, this is a Pro de Almas, or as you might know of this, Solar Change, so I can tribute my opponent's monsters to summon things. Moisa Knight, the Comet General, uh, ooh, an 11 scale. You know I love my pendulums. Though it does say if you pendulum summon a monster, place this card on top or bottom of your deck. So that's not amazing, but hey, I at least could use it. Hu Li, the Jewel Makanko, Super Heavy Samurai Motorbike, and Sunlit Sentinel. Not many monsters, but a lot did you of spells and traps. Like the last I did, I did. I got two here, so maybe maybe Nemalera can find their way in my deck. Who knows? Let's pop these packs open. Let's start with the light ones first. We have Quick Draw Synchron, who's a solid tuner monster. Dark Magical Circle and Soul Servant. Ooh. I don't have any Dark Magicians, but if I did, that would be pretty good. Oh, Pendulum Sorcerer. I think I actually already have one of these, so it's cool to have a second. Magician of Dark Illusion. This guy counts as a Dark Magician. Finally time to run Dark Magician. All right, let's see. We're gonna do another uh, Legendary Duelist. We'll do the Wind Pack. I don't remember there being anything really great in this set, but there are speed roids in here. We have Lyrilus, Cobalt Sparrow, uh, Lyrilus, Turquoise Warbler. Okay, same. Uh, Lyrilus, Recital Starling. Okay, speed roid, Taka Tembrog. I thought it was gonna be all Lyrilus. Speed roid, Duplicate. This is actually a trap monster. So, and so that, there's actually, there might be something here. I gotta look into that. All right, let's do Tactical Masters. I'm actually, a little excited about this. I just hope I don't pull lab. Runic Slumber. I do run some Runic cards. I'm gonna run this too. Oh, I got Compulsory Evacuation Device. This is a good, this is a good, a good generic card. I'm happy. And Runic Destruction. So I've got a, I've got a few more Runic cards to work with. That makes me happy. Let's open up our Star Packs. Terror Top. Wait, that's cool because I got Taka Tumborg. So, ooh, wait, Speedroid things could be a thing. Um, DD Swirl Slime. That's actually pretty cool because I got the. Um, Dark uh, Joan of Arc DDD monster. I would need more DDs, but that's a start. Fluffy Lion or Fluffle Lion. And Triple D Kali Yuga, who is a monstrous monster. However, I would need two D double D like level eights. And I don't know how, I don't know how I'm gonna make this thing. But it is a DD, so maybe where there's a will, there's a way. All right, last pack is Dawn of Majesty. I would like another one of those, so I'm glad to have it. Cosmic Slicer Zeral, I actually already have this too, and 
guess it's cool to have. Uh, margin training, I remember this, or trading, I remember this card. Your opponent can discard one card to negate this effect, so this is optional. Otherwise, both players look at their opponent's deck and choose one card, then add the card from their own deck chosen by their opponent to their hand. I'm definitely playing it. Yeah, so I actually got a lot of interesting cards here. Um, I'm going to have to look at my deck and see what changes I can make, because there is certainly some spice. All right, let's get started. So I got a bunch of stuff in here. Final Ritual of the Agents? Buster Blader for all the dragons Alec definitely has used, has used in all of our games. Tri Brigade Nerval, wait a minute, can we get a Tri Brigade sub-engine in this deck? Come on, come on. Overwind, target one face of wind-up monster. Moving on, red carpet is for dragon type synchros. Moving on, W Nebula Meteorite Worm stuff. Moving on, hero counterattack. I have one hero monster. Moving on, Crystal Raigeki. That's for Crystal Beast. Moving on, Tilted Try. Ooh, when you draw for your normal draw in your draw phase, you can reveal one of those cards. Place it on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, draw one card. When you draw by a card effect. You can reveal one of those cards, send this card to the GUI, and if you do, place that card on the bottom of your deck and do that draw one. Heck yeah! That's going in the deck. This is going in the deck. <laughs> what about these guys over here? Let's look at this Blazing Vortex pack. Heavy Metal Foes Amalgam. Um, well, it takes two Metal Foes, so I can't really use it, but let's see what else is in here. Another Tilted Try? Mm. Consistency, okay, all right, all right. Let's do Legendary Duelist, Magical Hero. Performer Pal, Pendulum Sorcerer. I'll look into it. I'm not sure I can really use it, but we'll, we'll find out. Magician Navigation. I don't have a Dark Magician, so, okay. <laughs> oh my God, look at this mess. Um, Doppel Warrior, Quick Draw Synchron. Easy. Lisa Tuner, people played this back in the day. I don't know if I can really use it in my deck, but I can try. Secrets of Dark Magic. Wait, I, yeah, I don't have Dark Magician, so can't really use that still. <laughs> Compulse, well, I've got one, now I've got two. That's excellent. The Italian. Star packs. Favorite. Odds are I won't be using any cards in here, but sometimes you have no choice. Right, we have Velaster Droid Doppio Yo Yo. Uh, that looks familiar. I think it's important. Mosa Segreta Yosenju. That was not as easy to pronounce. Well, I finally have Yosenju cards, guys. I could be on Alex level. Another um, Velaster Droid Doppio Yo Yo. And Leone Peli. Oh God. Oh, well, that's what I got. <laughs> um, there's, there's some talent in here. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so there's a lot of cards on this table, which I like the look of. How are we feeling about the deck building? It's episode four, there's gotta be something going on. Well, what's happening here is I'm devising a strategy to feed Alec in the first turn. Okay, so for in serious though, what's like going on Alex? So I'm doing what I always do. Well, no, this is a little bit different. Typically every episode, I very quickly go through all my cards, identify the strongest ones and put them into my deck, minimizing how many bad cards I put in. This time though, because I have so many cards from archetypes and engines that I have in my deck, I'm actually going to look and, ev and, and evaluate for once in my life how useful the engines are that I could be running in my deck and I'll make choices based on that. I don't like thinking that hard in this series, but like at this point, I gotta bring it. Anything sticking out to you? Uh... I can search one of the cards in my deck, so I'm gonna be doing that now. I'm hoping that I can build a deck and play it in a way that doesn't make me run out of cards too quickly. So basically, you need draw power, recursion, or just monsters that blow. Wait, sounds like you. you what you're saying is I didn't beat you. You beat you. I mean, can you beat me? Wow. Even though just he, for that, he beat just me for multiple that, times already, by the way, it's, guys. it's a sweep from here on out. No. Alec in five. I'm tying it up this episode. Yeah, look at that. I feel like there's your problem solved. Oh, I did more than just that. You got a sharp that, degree. That face shows up a couple times in my deck now. I'm gonna be drawing. I'm gonna be drawing cards. The decks are looking done. Yeah. I will, I'll have you know that I have eschewed any semblance of this deck being like good or strong and have built four extremely niche synergies that probably won't come together and will likely lead to my defeat. But if they happen, I'm going to laugh maniacally. I have removed most synergies from my deck and I'm just trying to defeat him with every fiber of my being. Oh, so opposing strategies. This is now a battle of wills and ideologies. When did this become a Gundam series? It isn't. He's just going to lose. Let's get started. 
enter main phase. I'll start by activating the Shard of Greed. Okay. So each time I draw a card from my normal draw in my draw phase, I can place one Greed counter on this card. I can send this card with two or more Greed counters to the graveyard and draw two cards. All right. And I'll set one card face down and end my turn. And I will draw. I know we said there'd be no trading in this series, but no one said anything about margin trading. Okay. So you can discard a card to negate this. Otherwise, we will look at each other's decks and then choose one card for the other to add to their hand. Okay. All right, so the card I add to my hand is Yosenju, comma two. And the card I add to my hand is Crystal Seer. That'd be a weird choice, Alex. Uh, it's a, some s bad spellcaster, what do I care? Now, I'm okay. going to normal summon my Tri Dice, or my Speed Word Tri I Dice, whatever its name is. And then, because I control a wind monster, I'll special summon my Taketumborg. Let's do a Synchro Summon. Oh, I that. That's right, it's three and three for a level six Synchro Summon. Mm -hmm. Gaia, Gaia Moore. Gaia Guy. <laughs> Gaia Moore Dragon Shell. It has an effect to, to do something with Synchros in my grave. I don't have those. Weird. Um, when an attack is occurred involving the monster equipped with this card. Nah, I can't do that either. All right, so there's no relevant effects, but it does have 2,000 attack. Okay. So you will have to respect it. No, I don't. Enter battle. Mm -hmm. Gaia more attack directly. I don't respect it, I'll take the damage. Wow. All right, fine. And I will set two cards face down, and I'll end my turn. Then I'll draw for turn. My shot of greed gains one counter. Let's try setting one card face down in defense mode. And I'm gonna have to end my turn there. All right. Draw for turn. Just in case, I'll normal summon my Yasenju comma two. And I'll enter battle. Mm -hmm. Guy armor. Attack is face down. You reveal my Crystal Seer, which you put in my hand. Okay. So, um, flip effect. I can expect the top two cards in my deck, add one of them to my hand, and then I place the other one on the bottom of my deck. Oh, it just gives you cards? You gave it to me, so yes. I thought this was a bad card. We're gonna add oh, it's a flip hand, effect, so it's kind of bad. My Tilted Try, and place the other one underneath the deck. All right, Seer is destroyed. Sanja Kama 2 will attack directly for 1,800. Oh, I can Sakura 2 armor. Oh! So that I respect, and it can go. Yeah, goodbye Kama 2. All right, I will... I'll pass there. All right, I'll draw for turn. I drew a card, my Shot of Greed, gained a second counter. I'll go ahead and activate my Tilted Try. And now let's try something real quick. I'm going to use my Shot of Greed and draw two cards. Draw two. Next, I will use Tilted Try. I will... Place one of the cards I drew on the bottom of my deck and send this card to the graveyard to draw a card. So we're going to. Oh, so you can choose just to send only one? Yeah, you don't have to send both. Yep, reveal one of those cards, okay. So I'll reveal my, I lose my Tilted Try and I draw a card. I now play another Tilted Try. Okay. okay. I, I saw it, I just had to do it. I didn't love doing it that way, but it felt right. Next, I normal summon my Stratagon Sirboso. It's Cyber's Wizard, y'all. And we'll use his effect, where I can switch one of my opponent's monsters to defense mode. And because of its effect, my Stregane Cyberso also has piercing damage on defense position monsters. So we're gonna go ahead and enter the battle phase. Stregane Cyberso, attack! On attack declaration, I'll activate Book of Eclipse. Change all face-up monsters on the field to face down defense position. During the end phase, we'll change as many face down monsters to face up, and then you will draw cards equal to the number of monsters that are flipped face up. I wish I could help that along. Sheesh. Um, main phase two. Let's set two cards face down. And I'll end my turn there. End phase, they'll both flip up. I think it's always face up defense position. Oh, okay. Oops. Yeah, face up. And you'll draw two cards. Very my different. turn, draw. I drew for turn, switch guy armor to attack position, and I will enter battle. You don't have to do that. Guy Armor will attack Chain. Cyber's Wizard. I'll activate my Shadow Spell on your Declaration of Battle phase. I'll target your um, Gaia Moor. And what this card does is I target one face-up monster and I put it controls. It loses 700 attack. Also, it cannot attack or change battle position. All right. My monster is stuck. I will pass right there. I'll tilt it. try this. Okay. It was Omega Judgment. Let's start with margin trading. You can discard a card to negate this effect, but I don't know why you would. Not letting that happen. Not letting that happen. Oh, okay. So, like your card did, we're both going to look at each other's deck and choose one card and add it to our opponent's hand. All right. Yeah, this is annoying. Let's see. So the card I'm adding to my hand is Gift Exchange. Wow. And he gave me Surprise Change. Interesting. This feels like last game now. 
Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> going to switch my Strigoner Cerboso to attack mode. All right. Because I'm now bigger than your monster. Yeah, because I'm down, what, seven or 800? You're down by 700, 700? yeah. 700? Okay, I'm 1300 attack. Let's... Let's set the pendulum scale. Fire Opal and Harmonizing Magician. Ooh, that's scary. I don't actually need them yet. Uh, he's got a reason. He wouldn't set him for no reason. Actually, it was no reason. I, I hate to I hate to break it to you, but there was no reason. I'll enter battle phase. Bring it on. Struggle nice so attacks your Gaia more. Cyrus Wizard has 1,800 to my 13. I'm taking 500 damage. And I'll go to main phase two. Set one card face down, and I'll end my turn. All right, let's. Draw! Oh, I need to look up the translation on one of my Italian cards. All right, since you gave me this card, you clearly want me to use it. I do. I'll activate Gift Exchange. We're gonna banish one card from our decks face down. On the end phase, we give that card to the other. Yep. All right, what card will I give you? Oh, I definitely can't give you that. What was I thinking? You have some weird ideas, Alec. I was, I was, I was considering giving you a card that would work really well for you. All right. So I'm going to use my DD Swirl Slime in hand to do a fusion summon. What is with your moves this game? I am going to fuse this DD Swirl Slime with my DD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. That's interesting. To fusion Alec, summon. I think you just did that backwards. Oh, I yeah. sure did. I sure did. He goes over there too. Fusion summon my Triple D Dark. Oh, that's cool looking. So she has 2,800 right, attack. She takes two Double D monsters and if I were to take life point damage, I would gain it instead. That's effect damage. I don't think that does not work with battle damage. Okay. I believe, if I'm remembering that correctly. And I'll enter battle. All right. Dark attack Cyber's wizard. I'll chain. What you got? My compulsory evacuation device. Oh my I bounce gosh. it right back to your extra deck. <sighs> I'll pass. All right. My turn, draw. My Velocidroid Dopio yo yo. It's double yo yo. Double yo yo. I believe I can't use the effect. Do you have a speed one engraved? I believe it, if I, I think I don't, I don't think I do. I don't, okay. I don't. Then no. And next I will pendulum summon using fire opal head and harmonizing magician for my psychic wielder. And now I'm going to initiate a synchro summon using psychic, psychic wielder and velocidroid dopio yo-yo. It's double yo-yo, yeah. For a level seven synchro monster. Synchro summon, wind pegasus adagnister. And I'll enter battle phase. Yeah. When Pegasus attacks directly for 2300. I got it. 23? Oh, yeah, 23. Yep. I misread that. And they're going to say also attacks directly for 1800. Cyber's Wizard. All right. Puts me a 34. All right. Next, I'm going to go to main phase two. Set one card face down and end my turn. And I will draw. Oh, wait. When did we get these back? Oh, we got those on, on my uh, last end phase. Oh, whoops. Uh, uh, they, they're in our hands now. Oh, wait, wait. wait, wait let's go see cards. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is this? You should use that. This card sucks. No, it's pretty decent. No, because I, I would have needed this like a turn ago. Look, it was a gift. Well, I hate it. All right, let's set the scale. Valence Dominator Duke and Sambel the Starbonder. One through seven, but more. But that is an important thing to say because I'm activating Pendulum Scale. I don't know what that does. So if I have two cards in my pendulum zones, I can apply an effect depending on the difference between their scales. Okay. Seven minus one is six. So if, if the difference is four, five, or six, I'll add one level five, six, or seven pendulum monster from my deck to my hand. I'll pendulum summon one. Amazon is Golden Whipmaster. That makes sense. Yeah, honestly. I mean, it is, it, that's, what, that's what we got here. Use top share, Alec. Uh, it can get you cards you need. I will reveal a card and put it on top of my deck, but my opponent does the same thing. I can't, this will just essentially let you search. And let you search. I get my card no, next sure. turn, you get your cards away. No, I can't. I also get my card next turn. I'm not playing this card. I play it's, it for It's going to stay right here. Oh. Enter battle. Amazon's Golden Whipmaster has 2,000, and it will attack your Cyberus Wizard. That is unfortunate. Well, that's going to swing right over my Cyberus Wizard. I'll take 200 damage. All right, I got to pass there. All right, then. Well, if that's all you're doing, I think I'll be just fine. Draw. I'm going to use Tilted Try. The card was widespread ruin. I'll put it on the bottom to draw another card instead. I'm going to next normal summon Dimension Fortress Weapon. 
I don't even know where you found that card. It was from today's packs. Well, uh, it's got 1700 attack and cards cannot be sent from the deck to the GY. I don't know how that's I coming out. I don't know how it's coming out. It's got 1700 attack. It's, it's, it's got a small but slightly maybe beefy stat line. It's something. Anyway, let's go ahead and use my Win Pegasus effect. I have had enough of your cards. So, I can destroy spell or trap cards equal to the number of adequate monsters I control. Oh, wow. So say goodbye to your Sambal. My Sambal is destroyed. And next I'll enter the battle phase. I'll have Wind Pegasus Attic Nister attack with 2300 attack. My Amazon is Golden Whip Master is destroyed and I'll take 300. And next, Dimension Forges Weapon will attack directly for 1700. Gotta take it. You're at the end of your rope, Alec. I'm oh, in a rough win. spot. And I'll go ahead and end my turn there. I will draw. I will set the scale with my Moisa Knight, the Comet General. I destroyed the wrong card, I see that now. And now I'll Pendulum Summon okay. one. My Amazon is Golden Whip Master again. And then Moisa Knight, because I Pendulum Summoned, will place this card on either the top or bottom of my deck. Going to the bottom. All right. And I will set a card face down and activate Top Share. He did it. So I'm going to reveal one card from my deck and place it on top of my deck. And then you will do the same. I'll get. Master's Diplomat. My Speedroid Double Yo-Yo. My Moisa Knight gets shuffled in now, so it can show up whenever. All right, I'll end my turn. All right, I thank you for everything you've done. I'm gonna draw. Next, let's just go straight to the battle phase and end this game. Dimension Fortress Weapon, attack his Amazon. I'll activate Reckless Greed. I'll draw two cards, not to skip my draw phase. I'll activate Surprise Chain. It's a chain link too. Yes. So it'll let me excavate the top two cards of my deck and place them back in any order. Okay. So I'm going to draw two and you're going to look at two. Yep. Putting them back in any order. If I get the right card to that my one. hand, I may not lose. All right. Draw. Well, we knew what one of them were. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, well, the dimension weapon completes the attack. You'll destroy my Amazonas Golden Whip Master. And when she's destroyed, I can place it into the pendulum zone. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> uh, well, when Pegasus Attic Mister will attack you directly. Yeah, you kind of got that. Actually, I had a good, I had a good draw. We knew about the double. Oh yeah, but the yeah. runic slumber could have been useful too. Mm. Yeah, that would have been nice. Uh, nice. I love. Okay, better draw. Well. <sighs> I finally yeah, got one back. Two and two. Congratulations, nah. Alex. You win. Yep. You lose, Alex. That was. I was robbed. That means the score is now two and two. two. It should be three one, but I'm not. Uh, it could have been three one if you played better. I think that Alex's deck is basically like an excavate deck now. You just excavate. Yeah, I put a lot of cards that helped me look through the Where deck. did you get all those generic traps? From last opening. You hit me with a Sakuretsu armor, yeah. a Compulsory, a Shadow yeah. spell. Yeah, they all came from the same pack for last game. Yeah, there's some, some starter deck. So it didn't work for me last game, but they showed up this time. They were in your deck last episode. Yes, they didn't show up like that. I crushed you that episode. Yes, you did, we know. I was there. I was hurt. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Well, next next time, guys, I'm going to get the good generic cards and then steamroll him right back. That's how that's going to go. I hope next time I just get more draw cards so I can avoid that from happening. And the best part is, guys, we're not paying for it. Paul is. Well, next episode is like probably the last one. I think it should be no, like no, no, no. The viewers should decide. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> Do you want six more episodes of Mystery Man? <laughs> I think 10,000 likes and, and they get their extra episode. He said 1,000 likes. Oh, we can do 1,000. <laughs> right. 1,000 likes and we're getting six more episodes and we're getting double the product. Okay, well, <laughs> I have to find a different mystery box, first of all. You know there's more, what are they called? You know uh, if you if you message MJ Holdings, they'll, they'll get up with as many as you need. That, that might be true, actually. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, guys. 
Thank you for watching the episode. Uh, stay tuned for more Mystery Mayhem and any other challenge, challenges, dual series that we have coming up because we do have more. Yeah, we'll see Thank you guys you. in the next one. See you guys.